Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Mia and I make planner related videos on this channel. Um, today I'm going to be memory planning or journaling in my A5TN from Creative Tidbits using this kit from the Mouse Plans on Etsy. Um, this kit's sheets were quite big so I ended up cutting them so I can fit them in my sticker album so that's why there's a lot of sheets and I know it can be a little confusing but it's just what I have to do for like storage purposes. Um, it wasn't super convenient while planning just because I had a lot of like papers to go through and stuff but I laid them all out in front of me and it was like alright. And I did this memory plan um, on different days because I finished I believe the first half of the week and then did the second half of the week at the end of the week. <laughs> Does that make sense? So like on Thursday I planned or I mem or journaled sorry the first three days of the week and then on um, Monday of the next week I started doing the end of the week. I don't know if that makes sense. I'm really bad at explaining stuff so if that didn't I'm sorry but I am just very bad at explaining. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm just doing the basic layout of most of my spreads which is the date covers, bottom washi, and sidebar and um, if you do not know if this is your first time on my channel I don't typically do much on the sidebar in my memory spreads because I don't really, it's not really functional for me to do anything really, so I usually put like a happy memory or one of the highlights of my week as well as like a quote that I kind of feel like I like needed throughout the week or need for the week after that, I guess. And yeah. I actually had a pretty rough couple of weeks. <laughs> Um, those of you guys who do not know, I recently got into a car accident and I have just been going through it. Um, let alone all the stuff with the insurance and, and like, money and not having a car for a while. Like, like, keep that on the side for a second. I, I don't know what is wrong with me. I seriously have been super, like, dizzy lately as well as I've been losing balance and I've literally been falling all the time and it's not because, like, I'm clum- well, I am clumsy, but I'm not falling because I'm clumsy. <laughs> I'm kind of falling because, like, my legs feel like jelly some of the time or a lot of the times and I end up hitting myself, like, on, like, my tables, on my chairs and I have bruises all over my body because I just- keep falling but you know it's it's okay I guess <laughs> but I did have an MRI this week which I did not like at all it was not fun there was an actual cage on my head um not really but it felt like a cage I'm not claustrophobic but the I think I just didn't like not being able to move for like an extended period of time especially since I really have bad ADD but yeah. <sighs> anyway, with my plan with me's and journal with me's lately, I've been liking putting the today headers on top for some reason. I don't know why I didn't used to do that before, but I've just been, I think it's because I've been watching a lot of the um, Coffee Me Monsters Co's plan with me, Helen's plan with me's from the Coffee Monsters Co. I literally just said that, but anyway, I've been watching a lot of her plan with me's and she tends to do that, or at least the the videos that I seem to recall, she seems to do that. So I don't know why I may have been doing that because of Helen, I guess, but I really like Helen's planning style, so I don't mind at all. Um, going, after I finish the sidebar, I'm going on the day by days and this is Monday the 10th of August, I believe, and the first thing I did was put down a full box and layered a quarter box on top of that. I then used a Coffee Monday script sticker from Paper and Milk and a coffee cup um, from Sweet Kawaii Design. And then um, a, like I layered a girl waking up in the morning from Happy Daya and just wrote up super early and apparently I actually am on break or on summer break um, right now, so I have no reason to wake up early, but I woke up early. Oh, wait, no, I think I did have reason to wake up early that day. I had work, haha. -ha. <laughs> 
I guess I had work that day and that's why I woke up super early. But anyway, I used a header and then a full box. And then I layered a half box on the full box and used this zombie nurse sticker from Fox and Cactus and just wrote work. And then I used this um, work timestamp sticker from Catspresso and just wrote what time um, I worked. And then I used a quarter box and a under the weather girl uh, from Kina Prince because I left work early that day. I usually get off at five but I left early because I was feeling very achy and dizzy and I was just like not feeling so super good. But um, I then used a <clears throat> I'm sorry, I then used a quarter, bo two quarter boxes, um, and I put them on top of each other. The first one I used a, oh my god, Happy Maru from Paper and Milk, and then the other one I used a Sad Maru from <laughs> Paper and Milk, and I just used the first one to mark that my friends showered me with love, and I, I don't know, I just felt very blessed that day, but also I had a fight with my boyfriend that day. It wasn't a fight, it was an argument, but still, I, I felt like I had to mark it. We're okay now, though, so, yeah. And then on the header on Monday, I you I put like a happy mail sticker from Paper and Milk and just wrote that I got happy mail um, from Paper and Milk. <laughs> That's why you're going to see a bunch of Paper and Milk stickers um, in this spread and the upcoming spreads because I'm obsessed with this, like the stickers and the sizing of them. They're just so perfect. But anyway, going on to Tuesday, I slept in and to mark that, I used a half box and a Mario the Marshmallow sleeping on a pillow and just wrote slept in. I then had my lab um, and everything's online now, so that was interesting, but I used a quarter box and a dog from um, Sweet Kawaii Design to mark that. I then used a header and then a half box, and on the half box I used a emoji going to Michael's from the Coffee Monsters code because I went to Michael's that day and I had so much fun. <laughs> I love like just buying craft stuff. It's I don't know. I'm I'm a little weird, but it's fine, I guess. <laughs> um cuz that stuff literally like changes my mood. But anyway, I used a quarter box and an order groceries because I did order groceries that day from Instacart and the order grocery stickers is from the that planner girl. I then placed a full box and on the full box I layered two quarter boxes. I had instant cup noodles which I did not like surprisingly but I marked that anyway and then under that I used a burger and fry sticker from Paper and Milk because um, I had Wendy's instead. And then I put a fed up or like a emoji Maru the marshmallow because I was fed up apparently. I don't know why but I was fed up and then I don't remember what else I put. Um, so once we get there, I will talk a little bit more about the stickers that were placed on Tuesday, but anyway, on Wednesday, I started off with a header and a three, uh, circle checklist, <laughs> but it's like a half box, I guess, and I wrote that, or I put that I slept in, the sleep in sticker is from Paper Ecos, I believe, I could be wrong, but I believe it is, and then the coffee, I, I wrote coffee and the... IV drip coffee thing is from Catspresso, and then I have the pencil sticker is to mark my class, and it is from Sweet Kawaii Design. I then used a full box and a Dr. Mara the Marshmallow to mark that I had an appointment with my neurologist because of, like, the disease spells, I guess. Oh, on Tuesday, the face mask sticker is from Bubba Bear Studios. But, um, yeah. So, over here, you're gonna notice in the next portion of the plan with me, um that I marked this part twice, which is so weird, but apparently was just so on my mind that I had to. Um, I used a Cy Mar the Marshmallow from Paper and Milk and then also a burger and fries because I had McDonald's that day. But before that, I told my dad about the car accident and he was not happy. He didn't know earlier. And those of you who don't know, I actually um, like live in a completely different country than my parents. And... Um, yeah, he was he was just not happy about that. He actually said he was like disappointed in me, but he wasn't disappointed because I got in an accident. He was disappointed that I didn't tell him earlier. And he thought I told my mom before him, but I really like I told them a couple days and like um separate, I guess. But yeah, anyway, that was fun, but to make me feel better, my boyfriend got me McDonald's and I for some reason loved the fries. There's just something about hot 
fries that are like it's so bad but it's so good <laughs> yeah and then on Thursday I broke my no spend and that no uh, broke no spend stickers from Kina prints and then I used a phone sticker from the honeybee shop to mark that I called my lawyer I then used a half box and then a um, car sticker from the coffee monsters Co to mark um, that I was figuring out my car situation. I then used a nurse's hat from the kit to mark that I made an, a vet appointment, and then a half box three circle checklist to mark that I got happy mail from Amazon. And this is where I wrote the things twice, so that is weird, but yeah. Also on Wednesday, um, I kind of had a rough night, so I had an anxiety attack and I slept early, <laughs> so um, that was fun. And um, the duster on the top of Thursday is actually from the kit, and I just used that to mark that I tidied up. And then on Friday, I slept in. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> I used a Mar the Marshmallow sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that, and I just used my... I don't know if I mentioned this, but I used my Sharpie... Um, I think it's called Roller. I keep forgetting what it's called, but it's... Um, I picked it up when I went to Michael's the other day and I absolutely fell in love with the pen. I write at an angle a lot of the times and when you do that, um, your ink isn't, or most inks uh, from different pens aren't as like black. So <laughs> I was super happy because the tip for this um, pen is thin but also super opaque, but anyway. I skipped up a lot of stuff on Friday, but basically I put a full box, and it's a checklist, but I just used it to write a bunch of things. I did, I put down an Everything Hurts and I'm Dying sticker from Sweet Kawaii Design, and then a um, Maru with a rain cloud over top of him because I was just super emotional that day for some reason. And then I used a provocative word <laughs> um, sticker from the Smush Peach to mark that I did not have any happy mail. And yeah, I will go back to the stuff on Friday when I see it again. But anyway, on Saturday, I used an early AF sticker from, um, uh, what's it called? Bubba Bear Studios. And then a full box because I didn't have much to do. But then I used a Munchkin editing from Once More With Love to mark that I edited my plan with me. And then a taco sticker from uh, My Little Puppy to mark that I had Chipotle that, Chipotle that day. Um, and then I used a three box checklist vertically to and used this Netflix binge sticker from Stick With Me Shop to mark that I watched Mindhunter with my boyfriend. Um, I'm kind of obsessed and I'm like surprised I didn't watch it earlier, but it's whatever. Going on to Sunday, I had breakfast with a bunch of girls. We were social distancing, so or they weren't like a bunch of girls, we were like four girls, but. Um, we weren't, um, like, super close, like, we are close to each other, but not, like, physically, <laughs> if that makes sense. So we were doing well with social distancing, but I really did need that time. I didn't know how much I needed that, like, girl time, um, or just a good time in general until, like, later on, um, in, like, in the week. I just, I just really needed that, like, time with my friends. Um, on Friday, the film sticker is from uh, Let's Make It Sparkle. The edit, upload, and Netflix binge sticker is from, are all from Stick With Me Shop. And then I finished the spread now, and I'm just going off to the sidebar. I'm just writing my memory, my favorite memory for the week in the half box. And then I'm using this brush pen I got from Michaels, which I'm going to show you guys um, it in a bit when I'm done but I'm not really good at brush lettering and it has like a super thin um, flexible tip so it's very um, easy to go lightly or like draw I guess very faintly and then go over it again because the tip is so thin and it's I don't know if you are not um, good at lettering I feel like it's a good beginners brush pen but I mean I could be wrong it just worked good with me or worked well with me. I don't know how to speak but anyway I just wrote down one day at a time and you're all right baby girl because yeah this week was tough for me and I just needed that reminder that it's just one day at a time. Here I am showing you the pen which I got from Michaels and yeah this is the memory spread and I'm gonna show you the leftover stickers in a bit. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I mumbled a lot in this video more than usual but 
Um, I guess that's apparent because I have had a bad week, so maybe that's why I'm mumbling a lot. Anyway, um, these are the leftover stickers, and as you can see, there's quite a bit left over. You can get, um, get away with at least one more spread, if not two out of them, depending on your planning style. But yeah, if you guys like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the bell button if you'd like to see more content from me. Um, it would mean the world if you joined my planning family. <laughs> and yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye!